Well, we are counting down to Christmas, and in honor of our 12 days of cooking, food editor Sarah Moulton is here with a selection of some of her favorite cookbooks. 2012, we're saying just a selection. There were hundreds you chose Hundreds from. and hundreds. It's very hard this year. Very okay, hard. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Okay. Well, this is the Smitten Kitchen Cookbook, written by Deb Perlman, who's got a famous blog, also called The Smitten oh. Kitchen. And what I love about it is she's a very, very serious home cook. I love reading the intro to each recipe. She develops and tests the recipes over and over and over again, so you know they work. And it's a very cozy book. You feel like you're sitting in the kitchen with her. I, I love this book. And she's a blogger as well. Yes, and we have here some uh, cranberry crumb cake with mulling spices. It's nice to know that she's not a chef as well. No, it's very she's completely home taught. And boy, did she teach herself a lot. That's yes, she did. <laughs> okay, this is a grilling Chardis book. Scruff. Yes, Charles Scruff. Now, we love this man because there's been so many grilling books, but this one stands out because it's not about the basics. It goes beyond with all these techniques about how to really get more flavor out of everything you grill. And he's quite unorthodox. Yeah. Uh, so he'll like rough up a piece of meat so more flavor gets into all the nooks and crannies. Very interesting book for the serious griller. For when you want to grill in your backyard. Yes, I, I'm more interested in a pamphlet about how to use a <laughs> Toaster. That, <laughs> okay, that would Dan. Be more my <laughs> All right, small well, plates, sweet, sweet treats. treats. Well, there's been a zillion gluten-free cookbooks, and that, but that, and this is one. But uh, what got my, and I've not been impressed up until now, but the photography in this is amazing. This woman also has a blog called Canel Evany. She's Basque, from the Basque region of Spain, now lives in Florida with her husband and kids and found out she was gluten intolerant. Mm. So, but the, the photography's amazing and the recipes are very healthy and clean looking and very come hither. Well, it's good to know, especially if you have small children, you can right. still serve them treats, gluten free. Yes, uh, by the way, this is a uh, Christmas treat from that area. It's um, hazelnut and cinnamon and vanilla uh, soup. I've never heard of a recipe described as come hither, so I'm going to try There you go. <laughs> Here we have from, uh, this is Vietnamese home cooking from Charles Phan, who is an amazing chef, and he's the owner of an iconic restaur restaurant called The Slanted Door in San Francisco. I eat there every time, alone at the bar. I love this I love restaurant. Vietnamese. And what he's decided is that if he gives you the basic Vietnamese ingredients and techniques, that you will become as familiar with this as Italian and French cooking. Mm. It will become part of your daily repertoire and it's exciting Vietnamese food done this way is so exciting. You have to go to the yes, next yes. time we're out in San Francisco. Okay, okay, moving on. This is for the dessert impaired like me. I'm not good at desserts. Uh, this woman's a very accomplished author and pastry chef but what she did here is she took you know already prepared ingredients not the awful stuff with all the additives and puts them together in creative ways with creative techniques so that you look like a dessert genius even though you're not really doing anything. Because sometimes pastry chefs are overlooked. They shouldn't yes, be. Yes. But this makes it so easy that the three of us could all do this because I know we're not all pastry people. And, we, and our guests would go like, whoa, that's amazing. Okay, this is a fun little book, and it's definitely a little book. These two gals took big dishes and shrunk them down into mini appetizers, mini entrees, tiny desserts, and shooter drinks. And I don't like to entertain. I don't know if you do. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't. I've been to quite a few of his parties. But this... Do you do the cooking, Dan? Uh, no. Okay, well, see, if I didn't have to do the cooking, I might entertain. Get somebody to clean the house and do all the cooking, then I'd be in great shape. But I do this, dishes, but, you know, but this, not a lot of cooking. This book made me want to throw a party. Really? It is really, it's just so much fun. Uh, you know, you have little tiny onion rings and little tiny crab cakes and little tiny banh mi sandwiches and, and Philadelphia, Philly, you know, cheese steaks. But they're tiny. Gives you an opportunity and it's to show a great your way to eat. Side. Yes, exactly. Sarah, All right. Thank you yes, very much. Great many, tips. many more. There's at least 15 more on the website as well. As I said, it was a very difficult year to choose. Right. But great books we've got here. You chose some great ones, Sarah. Thank thanks you. so much. Merry Christmas you. to you. you. Yes. And as Sarah said, you can find additional picks and more information available on GoodMorningAmerica.com on Yahoo.